Hey everybody, Dom here. Today I'd like to quickly explain what visleafs are and their function within Source Engine games. Compiling is what it's called when map information in an editor is calculated and turned into something that a Source Engine game could run. When maps are compiled, as part of the compiling process, the maps are cut into segments. These segments are called visleafs. What visleafs do is tell the rendering engine what chunks of a map should be rendered and what chunks should not. When the client's camera moves around in the map, it moves between visleafs. From the visleaf the camera is occupying, if a line can be drawn to another visleaf, it is considered visible and rendered by the engine. The entirety of a visleaf considered visible is rendered even if it's partially or fully obscured to the player. To summarize what was just said, maps are made of chunks. If a straight line can be drawn from the camera's chunk to another, it's rendered. Everything else out of view is not rendered, which saves resources. Visleafs are made by an automatic process as part of compiling maps. They can't be completely manually placed, but can be influenced. One way is through the use of hint tool textures. The hint texture can be placed on world brushes to give hints as to where visleaf lines should be placed. Hints are used in conjunction with skip textures. The skip texture simply tells the compiler to ignore it. Since the brushes are rectangular prisms and have six sides, sometimes map makers only want some sides to cut visleafs, and so the skip texture is used on the other sides. Another way to influence visleafs is with area portal and area portal windows. Area portals are brushes that seal off areas. They're normally used in doorways separating areas. They force visleaf cuts and can be controlled with input-output logic. As an example of what this means, if an opaque door is closed in a doorway, the area portal in the doorway can be set to turn off so that everything on the other side of the door is not rendered. Then when the door is open, the area portal can be told to open and render everything when looking through. Area portal windows are similar to area portals. They close and force the area on the other side of them to stop rendering when a client's camera is greater than a certain distance away. The distance is set by map makers. Area portal windows are often used with a texture, like pitch black but can be used with no texture. Another way to influence visleafs is with a funk viz cluster. Like area portals, a funk viz cluster is a brush entity. The way a funk viz cluster works is that it simply tells the compiler to take a shortcut because every visleaf it touches can see each other. This speeds up calculations and makes compiling large open areas faster. In terms of optimization, visleafs are very important. Having large portions of maps out of sight and not rendered is very powerful for saving resources. Because of this, maps are often designed to cut visibility and separate out large areas with lots of detail. The Team Fortress 2 map Dust Bowl is a good example of this. Large portions of the map are separated out by twisting hallways. One example is how the map makes players go down and back up again after leaving Blue's second spawn room. This is an artificial bend in visibility and separates out two large areas. Anyways, that was the video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Au revoir.